yo, yo, people, what is going on? This is like a spark killer, and welcome to another guitar lesson. I have not done a guitar lesson in forever, but I learned this song. It's pretty popular at the moment, I think. I don't know. I learned this for Kat, aka my wife, and so I figured I'd teach you guys how to play it. It is extremely easy if you know chords. I'm going to teach you this based on if you know chords. Simple chords you need to know, C, F, G, A minor, and I think D minor. Yep, that's pretty much it. Five chords is all you need to know to learn this song. The strumming pattern is uh, weird because you're like finger picking strumming. And uh, there's many interpretations of how you can do it. This is how I do it. Um, so we are going to be playing Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran, Shireen, Shireen Shimalambam. I don't know his name, but I don't listen to this type of music at all. Kat's like, hey, you should learn this song. And I was like, fine, okay. But now I actually kind of like it, not gonna lie. Okay, so you will need your capo and the knowledge of five chords. Capo is going to go on the second fret. One, two. Put it on the second fret. So it sounds like this. Ooh, that's nice. Extremely nice. Okay, so basically it is literally the same pattern for the whole first verse, uh, the whole like chorus. Uh, well, actually like the second, it's like, what is that called? Like a transition, I guess you could say. Um, and then the chorus is different and then it just keeps repeating, repeating, repeating. So I'm literally just going to teach you a section that you need to know. Okay, so first you start off with C. If you don't know how to make a C, I'm sorry. And what I do is I kind of finger pick. But, so here's what you're going to do. I'm going to try to explain this. It is extremely, extremely difficult to try to teach this. So, you're going to look at your C and you're going to find out what strings you are hitting. And you're going to pluck all three of those. So it sounds like this. That is how your C should sound. And then when you do an F, you're going to hit the same, the same three that you hit the C with. And then with G, you're going to hit, um, let's see, so you're going to hit the very top string, which is your E string, this one, the one at the very top. And then you're going to hit the same two that you hit with, um, the same two that you hit with your uh, thing, with your uh, C. So literally these two fingers are never going to move when you do your, that's what it should sound like. So now what you're gonna do, this is gonna be difficult. I mean, it's, it's a rough estimation of how you should pluck it. Cause I kind of stray from that even a little bit. Um. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to throw a slap into there. And literally, you're going to have someone stand beside you and you're going to slap them in the face. No, I'm just kidding. So you're going to hit it. You're going to hit your C. And it's literally that C, F, G constantly. Your C is going to go on for two beats and then your F, one beat, G, one beat. So you're going to pluck. Slap, pluck, slap, F, slap, G, slap, C, slap, C, slap, F, slap, G. So that's the whole chorus of when your legs don't work like they used to before. And I can't sweep you off of your feet. Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Still smile from your own cheeks And darling I Will be loving you Till we're 70 So Now What I do Once you're comfortable with that Like I practiced this for days and days and days Actually it only took me like Two hours to learn it And then This is like my third day playing it so now, because you're going to have two strums on C, I'll give you guys a little variation tip. So you're going to hit C the first time with your actual strings. And then you're going to slap 
and you're still going to hit the two same fingers, which is going to be a G and a B string, but you're actually going to hit the top string too. So it sounds like, so it gives it like that bass. So it sounds like you're alternating the bass and the, uh, it sounds like you're going to be alternating the bass and like the higher note. So this is what it's going to sound like. Right? Sounds cool. It gives it a little bit of variation so that way you're not constantly hitting C. And then when you go to F, you can actually hit down low. You can hit these, the two strings right here, the G, B string and the top string. Or you can hit the top two strings with the, with the top G string or E string. So now it'll give it a little bit of a ring. So you can do alternation. Someone's calling me. This is Zach. Okay, so that's a good uh, technique for alternating. So it sounds like. You hear how each, like, basically C and G, I don't mess with F because I, I don't. I normally just do C and G. It's whether I go either up on the strings or I go down on the strings. So that way it sounds like it's alternating. And, okay, so now that we have the uh, thing, also I don't claim to know how to sing. So go ahead and rag on me for that. I know I can't. I have the musical talent. Um, okay, so now... What we're going to do is we're going to go to the people fall in love in mysterious ways. So that's a D minor. If you don't know how to do a D minor, this one is extreme. This one still trips me up sometimes. Like I still have to look down at my, uh, I still have to look down at my guitar in order to get it. So a D minor is basically a D, you know, it's like the triangle thing. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your, let's see here. You're going to actually move your pointer finger to the first string on the first fret and then move your middle finger up to where the pointer finger was before right is that a d minor oh god i forgot how to do a d minor that's a d oh d minor yeah there we go that's a d minor okay cool so like I said, it's exactly the same thing. You're going to replace your pointer finger with your middle finger. Your ring finger is going to stay the same. And then your pointer finger is going to go on the first string on the first fret. So now what you're going to do is you're going to actually hit the first string from the bottom, the second string from the bottom, skip a string, and then go to the next string. And that's what you're going to, that's what you're going to pick. So see, and then it goes, people, I'm going to, I'm going to speak it. I'm going to speak the song to you. People fall in love in mysterious, mysterious goes to a G, mysterious ways, and then D minor, maybe it's the, or may, maybe just the touch of a hand. Well, me, I fall in love with you every single day, so this is where it kind of gets weird, so it goes D minor. Well, me, I fall in love with you every single, A minor, and then D minor, I just want to tell you I G am. So honey now, C, F, this one's tricky. This is the one that always messed me up. So the timing on this is really weird. So it goes, so honey now, C, and then, it, and then you're going to go back into your same C, F, G pattern, but you're going to go F, and then right when you go into G, that's when you're going to go take me into your loving arms, C, C, F, kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. A minor, that may be we, C, found, F, love, C, right, D minor, where, G, we, A, R, R, C, I almost said A. So it sounds that maybe we found love right where we are. That's like the funnest part of the song for me, but it's so like redonkulous. And then you go right after that, you're going to go back into your same C. And the 
crowds don't remember my name. No, I thought about it. I decided. Whoa! Yeah, I decided. 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 Yeah, I decided
and it's really pleasing on the ears like it's not any kind of anything it's kind of like a ballad slash lullaby slash just nice easy listening and i like it and probably when i stop recording i'm gonna sing it <laughs> all right guys but as of right now it looks like our time is up i hope you enjoyed this episode leave a comment down below whatever you are thinking and i will see you guys next time peace